SNES Drunk. Hello and welcome back to SNES Drunk Plays Chrono Trigger. And you'll you might notice if you watched part two, I'm in a different spot now. It's because I spared you all the uh, battles and stuff from uh, you know it gets a little monotonous after a while. So let's uh, get on with the story here, shall we? Oh wait, that's not where I want to go. This way. Of course I'm back. We're the heroes. This wouldn't be much of a game if we just died there. The fuck? <laughs> okay, Tony Robbins. Yeah, you think? Heal thy. Yes. They just might be our future. Or we don't have any fertile soil and it'll be it's all for nothing. So Stay heal thy. Thank you. Oh, the kid doesn't know his dad's or her dad's dead. That's a problem. Hey, can I just shove you out of the way, please? Thank you. And then everybody gawks at you as you... As you, uh... Yep, he's gone. Couldn't make it. What's weird is that that dude ends up, uh... Dead in the freezer. Now that's where his body is. Uh, but it's not... You know... Uh, he, so he kind of snuck past the Bit Guardian somehow. He could do like a Star Trek, Star Wars like kind of thing as to how that uh, how that was you know kind of his story. Yeah, blah blah blah. He could do like a, a short story just on that guy, how he was able to do it, and then you got to walk all the way around. Anyway, let's make the most of our time here in 2300 AD. So, we gotta go... Let's see, should we do... the boring old stuff? And fight monsters across this entire way, which are mostly those like tomato mutant things? Or should we take this sweet ride here? fight wait a second that's not the fight music <laughs> no, it's, is that the man that's always keeping us down always bringing us down is that the guy I should blame that's pretty sweet uh, for the sake of explanation, let's say no. <laughs> There's only one speed. B for the turbo boost. And he allows me three of them. Alright, what do you have to say for yourself? What do you have to say for yourself? Yeah, <laughs> winning does that to Johnny's hair. That dude has hair like the like the kid from uh, freaking Stranger Things. What's that dude's name? Steve or something like that? That dude's hair is amazing. Okay, here we go. That's right, we got a racing mini game. Now what you could do, the challenging thing, is trying to stay in front of him the whole time and just bounce off him. Really, it's just a matter of timing. Timing it correctly so that you use the boost at the right uh, time. I mean, it's pointless to use a boost now because all you're really doing is just bouncing up and down. I gotta love the, the hellish po post-apocalyptic landscape in the background there with the sun peeking through. Barely. Oh, I waited too long. That was my fault. Hey, you're worthless. Your face is worthless. Give it up, go home. Ah, what losers. Yeah, you can walk your way across, but I don't want to do that. I have to win somehow. Plus, it's, it's entertaining to watch someone lose, right? 
Yeah, you should never drive drunk. This is this is against my ethos here, against my my belief system or whatever. I mean, I could use a boost right there, but another tricky part is getting, a, you know, not making sure you don't run into the guy. I, I was busy staring at the background. Like the little things like that are what really make this game cool. <laughs> I lost again. <laughs> I mistimed it. This time I was too early. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shut up. All right, let's try one more time. Let's watch a guy drink and drive and lose. That's right, drinking and driving, you lose. If I don't make it across this way, I'm just gonna fucking walk across. That's what I should be doing anyway, because, you know, this, this dude is drunk. I don't drive. Oh, it'd be really cool if they managed to get it. Oh, I guess his hair is kind of moving a bit. If they, but they, if they could get his hair, like, wavy, like he brags about, or like that other person brags about. <laughs> I lost again! God! I'm an idiot. I'm not just, I'm just not with it today. Yeah, I am worthless. This is, I suck. I should walk across. I've earned that. <sighs> Makes for a staggeringly entertaining LP, I'm sure. God, I don't even have magic yet, so I can't. I'm not gonna. It's like fighting these guys is gonna be somewhat tough. Yeah, whatever. I've got nothing else to do here. Uh oh, Ulysses dog sees something. Man, earlier today, um, so. New Mexico is kind of weird. Like I live in Albuquerque, and um, out here in the, uh, you know, it's in the city. It's kind of suburbish, suburbish, suburbanish, I guess. And um, but there's still uh, why is that mutant way up there? <laughs> but uh, it's still. Uh, there's still people that have like small, really small farms. They grow like crops in like their their backyards. They're not gardens, but they're they have plenty of stuff that they're growing. I don't even know what it is they're growing most of the time. You, I think it's fruit usually. Um, and then there's they have livestock. They have uh, sheep, goats, horses. A um, couple people have cows. And it's, you know, quite literally to, you know, it's not hardcore. These people aren't don't own all this, a ton of land, but it's kind of weird, like in the middle of this, like, you know, suburbish, suburban-ish looking area, you've, you see farm animals every once in a while. And there's one house um, I walk past with the dogs. Um, I took the dogs by myself today, and um, one that we walked past that has she two sheep, or I think three sheep now, um, and chickens. And we saw it happen right in front of us. There's a fence, of course, but it happened right in front of us. A coyote came and took a chicken in its mouth, killed it, and ran off with it in its mouth. That was the mangiest looking coyote I've ever seen, or coyote, or whatever the correct pronunciation is, but... Just grabbed the chicken and ran out. The chicken was freaked out, and then it was completely silent. It was killed. It was... And of course, my two dogs are just going, losing their minds. And I think they they were losing their minds not because they saw a coyote, but because they wanted some of that, <laughs> some of that chicken. Uh, oh, what am I doing? I want to get to. There. I think there's treasures and stuff. You, yeah, see, it's it's actually kind of worth going this way because you get. I can't believe I lost three times in a row. That's how out of it I am right now. That's my excuse. All right, let's see how many of these suckers I can get in a row. That'll work. Remember that time I got stuck on? Yeah, she's can't. Take it. I got stuck on these guys because I got. St Stuck a stupid ass berserker. Berserker. Alright. 
God, they only have one hit point, too. You'd think that would... Level up, though. That's cool. But yeah, Albuquerque's... Oh, the race log is what you get out here, so you keep tra track of all your losses. Let's see if I can just skip this guy. Oh, you can't. I think that's it, actually. It's just... Oh, it's three of them. But yeah, that's... you. Uh, that's... One time I got, before we got Ulysses, it was just me and Clyde. Um, I got real freaked out because, uh, yeah, Coyote was like right next to us. Ran right past us as I was walking. And, you know, Clyde's small. He's 35 pounds. He can, he's small enough where he could potentially be seen as an easy target for something like a Coyote. So I was really really worried. Why is Luca way up there? I can't even see her. And who's got the sight scope still? How did that happen? I thought I took that off. Should fix that. So yeah, coyotes are pretty common to sight around here because people like to keep livestock here, so of course... You know, coyote, where there's livestock, there's gonna be predators. You know, because it's easy prey right there. They're all kept in one spot. Yeah, that chicken had no chance. It was on top of its, like, little coop area. <laughs> and the coyote just casually went over there and just grabbed it. <clears throat> anyway. Yeah, I'm just still drinking. I switched to uh, Maker's Mark tonight. Um, it's not something I usually like to drink because... <laughs> huh? Oh, the Log Keeper. Okay. Sure, whatever. I guess I can race them anytime I want. Or, and lose to him anytime I want. That's the risk you run when it's... Yeah, here's the factory. And you broadcast this shit on... And record everything. Let's go to the Protodome. Let's see what's going on. Actually, let's get this thing off of Luca. Because it's really not... Yeah, speed plus one is probably more beneficial at this point. Especially since she's by far the slowest. Anyway, what else is going on? I got um, those uh, new wireless controllers to go with um, the SNES Classic. Um, I forget what they're called, like 8-Bit Do or something like that. I got them, uh, I had them pre-ordered when they were announced. Because those, those controller cables are pretty dang short. So now we can actually sit all the way back on our couch and play... Uh, Mario and whatever else. I've been playing Super Mario. It's it's around Christmas time, so I play Super Mario World around Christmas. Um, that's my thing, kind of, with my own little dumb tradition. I usually go all the way through it on the day of Christmas, but this year I'm kind of spreading it out because we have the SNES Classic, and so it's uh, it's been fun. Those special levels, though, let me tell you, those are freaking hard. They're just as hard now as they were back back then, especially the second one. I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head. I want to say it's, like, tubular. The one with the balloons where you inflate yourself. Good God, man. Those those levels are legitimately really tough. Um, such a harsh sound effect there. But yeah, those controllers are pretty nice. There's not too much of a noticeable lag. Um, there is when you play games like Super Ghouls and Ghosts, because you have to be so precise in that game. You have to be really dead on with your jumps and your timing and all that stuff. Hey, it looks like there's a robot up there. Let's see what this is all about. Wow, look at this thing. I just realized I gotta think of a name. What is its name in the... Uh, you could really be a smartass here and name... Oh, yeah, that's right. He tells you. Yeah. 
Luca's struggle with technology. Yeah, we need this guy to tear that door open. See? He's useful. Give us some juice how? From where? <laughs> is he dancing? Oh, I suppose it is Rick Astley playing, so... One of the most amusing things ever was, was coming to the realization that this really was based off of, uh... <laughs> based off of, uh... What the hell is this, the actual name of the song? Never Gonna Give You Up by Rick Astley. If you, if you play them back to back, or, you know, layer on top of each other, it's pretty much the same song. R66-Y. You can be a smartass and name him that again. Let's give him a better name. I don't know. You could go Bobo, like Professor Bobo from, uh... Mystery Science Theater. Or we can go like, uh. Uh. I don't know. Let's. Go with Hank. I don't know. I don't know any good robot names. Nah, let's go with Hans. <laughs> it is perfect. Your name is Hans. Okay, yeah, I remember my friend naming him Cunty. And then just sent me that screenshot. Your new name is Cunty, okay? Uh oh. It would appear so. Again, Lucas from the year 1000, yet she can fix a robot. 1300 years into the future. She's a genius, sure, but that's a bit of a stretch. The power is off. We go to the factory up north. So I guess the next time gate is in there, which is why we need to go there. Um, I'm gonna have... L I like having Marl because I like her uh, healing spells. And Luca, I don't use Luca very much, but I think I'm gonna have Luca stay behind. I usually play with uh, Marl. I, and I guess technically, I mean Hans <laughs> is gonna eventually get um, healing spells. He doesn't have them yet, but I don't know. I just like using Marl. Especially once you get uh, Ice Sword and Ice Sword 2 and all that sort of stuff. Those spells are awesome. Those attacks, rather. Yeah, it's just some vague tinkering and we'll get this stuff underway. Oh. More slash attacks. Yes, we fight acid. Whatever that means. I wonder what else works on those things. Only one tech point. Yeah, we've already learned stuff from... Hmm, let's take these mothers out. Anyway, yeah, I've been in Albuquerque for three and a half years now, I think. I got here in 20, 2014. 2014, and I'm... Uh, yeah, it's December of 2017 is when I'm recording this. So yeah, it's about... I got here May 2014, December 2017. Three and a half years. We've adopted a dog since I've gotten... An another dog since I've gotten here. Um, by the way, to describe the weather here in December, people act like... Uh, like, oh, it's... Uh, it's New Mexico. It's hot all the time. Right now, I think it's probably about 25 degrees. There's no snow. And usually, if it does snow, it melts later in the day. Is there anything over here? I think I can avoid those guys and then just go this way and get whatever this is. Ah! Got there. An ether? That's it? You gotta do better than that. What about some sweet equipment or something? Nope. Oh. Crap. 
Dag nabbit, are they just, did they just bring you all the way over to the beginning? Oh no, they, they, <laughs> now you're stuck in the uh, endless loop of battles. But yeah, no, it's, there's plenty of desert here. There's plenty of, you know, it's really dry, obviously. And, uh, but I mean, it's, it gets cold here, especially at night because it's a high desert. It's high elevation. I think I, where I live, it's like 5,700 feet above sea level. Um, I don't know what that converts to meters, sorry. Or kilometers. <laughs> I know it's more than a mile, and it took me like two months to get used to, hey, we're learning stuff. It took me like two months to get used to, for my stomach to get used to living up here. It was weird. I couldn't really digest, like my digestion was all weird. And I guess that's elevation re related, so let's do rocket roll. Let's show that off. And does she have any other text? No. R and Pro. There we go. That's pretty strong. Not strong enough, though. <laughs> and then people, conversely, you know, I'm from Minnesota. People think Minnesota, oh, it's... I remember I've worked in tons of call centers and stuff, and you know, people ask where where you are. I'm, I'm in Minnesota, and like, oh, and it'll be like the middle of July, and they'll be like, oh, is it snowing there right now? Like in a hundred percent seriousness, it's like, no, it's not snowing in July. We have summers here just like every other place, <laughs> every other civilized place, I should say. Yeah, it, it gets to be about you know. There, there's always one week in Minnesota where it is absurdly hot. It's like 90 and humid as hell. It's usually like the end of July, beginning of August, where it's just miserable. And, con and in the winter, too, there's always that one week in January or February or whenever that it's it does not get above zero. That whole, or it does not get above freezing, I should say. Or it does not get above does not get above freezing. It stays below 32. I guarantee you, it's gonna stay below freezing for most of the most of the time. All right, let's uh, do another rocket roll. But yeah, no. I mean, they have this, there's winters in New Mexico and there's summers in in Minnesota. Believe it or not. And you know, I've never been much of a you know, patriotic person, you know, very proud of my country or whatever, but, uh, it's, uh, I mean, I am, but it's, it's, it's really cool to, um, can I get off here? Is there a door here? Is that a door? Yeah, it is. Oh, these things. Um, it's really kind of cool to be able to move to a new place 1,200 miles away and the people are completely different, the culture is completely different, the food is different, and it's just, but yet I'm in the same country. It's like, that's really cool. Like, one of the reasons I, I wanted to move here is because it is it is different in so many, so many ways than what I'm used to, so, you know. Pretty cool. I think I'm just gonna spam these guys with physical attacks. Oh, come on. This is no time to s take a nap. I think the, the straw that broke the camel's back for that led, f you know, I don't really have any r big grandiose reason for, for moving from uh, Minnesota to New Mexico. It wasn't any kind of, like, I guess a, a little bit of it was like kind of a, I, uh, kind of a, like a crisis or whatever because it's like I don't want to live the whole my whole life in one spot like that's that's not that doesn't sound very interesting like I want to learn more about stuff and about places and history and just you know all that broadening your horizons type cliche nonsense you know what can I get back out here and oh shit don't do that can I go oh. Get that other treasure. Oh, I already did get it. Shit, 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 shit. Okay. How do I get that one over there? Give me that one. 
Duh! I gotta fight these things again? No, I don't. Ha <laughs> ha! How about that? Okay, I am up here. Oh, this is how I get it. Okay. And I can't go further because I can't... I don't know the password. Here's more stuff. Let's take these guys out. No, there was one instance, though, where it was like... Um... But I think it was the middle of January. Um, I was working uh, a crappy temp job, of course. Um, I'd, I'd gotten laid off from my um, uh, my full-time job a few months earlier. And um, so it, I didn't really know what to do for work or anything like that. So I just uh, got a temp job in see you know some life insurance company processing crap so i wanted to see uh yeah see if this will, will work out or whatever so it was uh see if i can stand it enough it was right around when i started the channel actually in 2013 and i remember um it was really it was the coldest winter in however many i think it was the coldest winter since like 1995 so coldest winter in almost 20 years so it's it was really, really cold. Um, and then I remember going out to lunch at, uh, at 12, or going out to the parking lot to go get lunch. And um, level up, sweet. All right, what do we got? We better have some gear. God damn it. Will it work, even though I never... <laughs> it's not gonna work, I think I need to... Hmm. <laughs> Alright, yeah, it's... I guess it's not gonna work, I thought it did! Oh, it is working, sweet! That's weird. And then there's a, is there a different crane you have to get? Hmm. Yep, it puts it on the thing, so now I can get through there. God, can you go any slower? Jesus. Do I have to do it again to get the other one out of the way? Because that doesn't really help me. Why isn't this working? I'm doing it after the beep, you motherfucker! <laughs> it's Zaby, X A B Y. It worked once already. I think, isn't there a different... Oh god, I've had too much to drink. <laughs> anyway, um, the thing was that, yes, feel free to leave a comment telling me what I'm doing wrong. I'm gonna have at least 700 people telling me that, so. <laughs> sure, whatever, let's heal up, I guess. Um, no, I went out to, to my car. Oh, come on, not you guys again. I went out to my car and the battery was completely frozen. I, it would not start. So it's like, yeah, see this doesn't, oh, this just lets me go back. Wait, can I go up there? Yeah, my battery was completely frozen and that's when I realized like, you know, people live in other areas. They don't just live here. Like, people don't, like, this isn't fun to live here anymore. Oh, XABB! I thought it was XABY! I just got lucky that one time. I'm really stupid. All right, now they're making it very difficult to avoid these motherfuckers. 
It's X. Uh, I, listen, if you're shouting at your screen saying X A B B the whole time, like I, I can hear you. Okay, you you won't see. It. I'm recording this and it won't post for another f several weeks. But I believe me when I say it, that I can hear you. Okay. But don't forget to leave 25 comments about how I'm screwing it up. Don't you know? Because what's the point of being on the internet and just sitting back and watching a some drunk idiot play Chrono Trigger without, you know, telling him he's he's wrong about stuff. I mean, that's the whole point, isn't it? He's wrong about stuff. Of course, it's yeah, the whole point. You can't have people be wrong on the internet. Like this. Alright, let's, uh... And then be wrong on the internet and then not tell them? Like, live in their wrongness? There. Now I can get that other treasure. That, that other uh, treasure. I completely screwed that up. It's been a while since I've played this, though. It's the last time I played it. I think was the when the DS version came out. There. I don't want to fight you guys. So yeah, my battery froze, and um, how do I get down there? Can I loop around? Oh yeah, I can. That better be a sweet, it better be a sweet ass sword or something. All right, it, it's not a sword, but it is an upgrade for her. Excellent. Not that she's really going to be using very many physical attacks. I mean, she is in random battles because I'm going to be bored and just doing whatever. But, uh, yes, I want to go this way. And go up through here. Yeah, there we go. There's my sword. Sweet. Bolt sword. So just, what is it, a San Diego Chargers? Or it's, I'm sorry, Los Angeles Chargers sword or something? There we go. That's Zabie. I knew that much. But you use that at a different spot. Um, and it's apparently not here. Uh, do I go down the other way? Here, I'm gonna... So yeah, that was uh, that's my that was kind of the straw that broke the camel's back was uh, my battery freezing in a in a parking lot in January in Minnesota. It's just like I am done with this. It's like, oh, you gotta be tough, and it's like, oh, well, they're tough and they're stupid. I think living, you know, surviving all those Minnesota winters. I was 32 when I moved, and it's just like I don't want to be one of those people that lives in the same city in the same you know area their whole lives I'd rather go see something else be a part of something else and it's worked out really well so far so getting drunk in a whole different state about that but yeah no I like I was saying it's 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 funny because I've never been like one of those people that's all like prideful about uh, about uh, you know my country or whatever, but it's you can't help but be like, yeah, you know this country's pretty effing cool when it comes to uh, being able to move a gazillion uh, miles away, twelve hundred miles away, and um, call a new you know have a new place to call home and still be in the same country. It's like, damn, that's. It's actually really cool. So, all right, all that's taken care of. I got a new bolt sword. Let's go down the other way. Other fuckers. Let's try out our <coughs> bolt sword. Just has the San Diego Chargers logo on it. And loses games in the last minute. <laughs> it gets. That's, there's a running gag on a show I watch, uh, the, the Dan Levitard show. I'm a big fan of, of his show because he does not... He's a very smart guy, very well-spoken guy. He's been a writer and a, and a legitimate journalist for many, many years. 
but he does not he thinks sports are ridiculously stupid and he thinks it's stupid to uh um take them that seriously so what he does is he his whole radio show is just predicated on how silly sports are so it's uh ah jeez let's get this shelter Take these guys out. Um, was I supposed to go here first? Probably. I don't know. It's, again, many of you screaming at your, at your. Uh... Can I kill this without the slash? Yeah, I can. I can. So. Or is this where you enter the code? I think this is where you enter. The... Oh, that's all that does. Oh, come on. All right, fine. I'm not gonna bother with the slash. I think I can kill these things with one hit this bastard and keep right on rolling. God damn it. Stop getting in my way. <laughs> um, really? Alkaline's gonna do 16 damage? Man, I need some, some better armor. All right, but yeah, Dan Lebetard show. I'm a big fan because um, he's it's funny. Sports are silly. They shouldn't be taken that seriously. They're they're meant to be silly. And one of the running gags that show came up with was Phil Rivers, who's the who's the quarterback of the Chargers. And it seems and he's always stuck. He's a great quarterback. He should be in the Hall of Fame one day. He's got the numbers. I know he hasn't. Well, he's only been to one AFC Championship, I think, but. The dude's got the numbers, and he's been stuck with some bad teams in the prime of his career. And yes, I know he had Antonio Gates and Ladanian Tomlinson, but having said that, he was stuck with fucking Marty Schottenheimer as his head coach, and who is just a, the ugh. anybody that ends up with Schottenheimer as their head coach. It's just my heart goes out to you. It's got to be rough, <laughs> but he is always stuck. Like, in the worst situations for his team, it's like, okay, the Chargers, Rivers has had an amazing game, he's got like three touchdowns, 300 yards, and then it's like, oh, but his team is down four points with a minute 50 to go, no timeouts, and they gotta go the length of the field <laughs> to, to win. And it's every week it happens, it's crazy. How, oh God, oh, there we go, that'll work five of these things but yeah I could ramble all day about sports I'm a Vikings fan unfortunately um, the Minnesota Vikings American football team for all you uh, foreign not Americans out there um, that are that are watching this uh, nobody chooses to be a Vikings fan that's all I'll say about that you nobody picks you are, you are born a Vikings fan there aren't people out there that are like like, if you got somebody from, I don't know, England or Australia or Norway or wherever, and you wanted to t teach them about, uh, about football, about American football, Titan Vest, I think Chrono should get that because he's getting the most, uh, taking the most damage. Um, I remember for a long time when I first played this, I never saw this hatch here. And it took me forever to find out where to go. And it wasn't, I had to look in the guide and be like, where the hell do you go? Nice, we can give that to Luca. Oh, she's not even, I guess, huh, that's weird. But yeah, it's, here's, here's what it's like. What? Here's what it's like to be a Vikings fan, though. You... Why isn't it working? There we go. I'm sure I'm missing a whole bunch of stuff. And people are yelling at me like, Wait, you forgot this stuff! But you know what? I got all my equipment upgrades. and Not all of them. I'm sure there's a few I'm missing.
That's nice. This is a cool bit of uh, heroism by our new character here to show his, uh, show the kind of stuff he's made of. Go now! Hurry! Get to the trapper! Go now! Whoa. Yeah, ha! Alright, now this one you can go up, down, or. Oh, pfft. Oh, too late. Can't do that anymore. Nah, whatever. I don't care. I wonder what what stuff I missed out on. Probably not too much stuff. Um, yep. Elevator shut off, so we gotta go this way. Uh oh. This is gonna be a really tough battle. This is actually very, kind of heartbreaking. <laughs> the way he bows to them is really cool. Oh! -ho! Pardon? <laughs> if I got punched in the face, the first thing I would say is not pardon. Yeah, this is kind of heartbreaking. All intruders must be eliminated. That was my purpose? You must be destroyed. Aw, oh, hey, come on, leave him alone. He gets thrown back every time. And then they do their little, po their badass pose. Hey, let me in there. Kick some ass. Are you done yet? Jesus. I think that's enough. <laughs> I like this part here. We're just gonna take you and we're gonna put you over here for now. <laughs> like, okay, I guess he's like on a shelf up there or something or oh, what's going on there? Wow, angry, angry Marl face. Look at that. Cocky boxes of bolts. Great stuff. Okay, so. Yeah, see, here is where you really want to... Uh, where you really want to Luca. I sh in fact, I, I kind of regret not taking Luca. I don't really have any kind of tech I can use with Marl other than healing, but... She's the one I, I use as my primary healer in this game. Yeah, all right, I already took, took care of one of them. Anyway, yeah, no, the, the what I was saying about the Vikings is that, um, all right, three down, three to go. Why aren't I attacking? I'm not paying attention. Um, the Vikings are a team where I have a much easier time um, naming the three, like, not three, more like the seven or eight worst losses in franchise history, then I, I, and it, it, I, I can rattle those off off the top of my head in like two seconds. Like, okay, obviously the worst is 1998 because they were rewriting the record book. They had the league's most exciting rookie. Why am I just sitting here with her? I should really heal him first. Um, they had Randy Moss, the league's most exciting rookie in, since Lawrence Taylor, or Eric Dickerson, or Dan Marino, or whatever. But, wow, this is pretty bad. Marl might not make it. Nope, she's not going to make it. Um, there's, and then they end up losing, they don't even make the Super Bowl, they end up losing, yep, she's dead. Let's revive her, because I, the whole reason I brought her with is to, um, get her the experience points. And, uh, no, they, and they end up losing to the Atlanta Falcons in the NFC Championship game in excruciating fashion. Yeah, 480 experience, let's get those levels up let's get those tech points I don't think there were even any tech points in that battle but they trashed them take them down off the shelf up there <laughs> oh this is really cool too where they drag them across the tundra but we got the power on even though it kind of made everything go haywire 
Gee, are they gonna make them put them back together and make them work again? I'm gonna go have a drink, go play some poker, do robot stuff, you know. But yeah, anyway, Vikings, like how many, 2009 against the Saints, there's 2,000, 41 donut against the Giants. There's just I, I, one after another. 1988 against the Redskins, that was the worst loss of my childhood as a, as a little kid. Yay, Hans is gonna come with us. I don't know why I named him Hans, I don't know what I was thinking. your butts yep make sure to do the pose oh what's going on here but when it comes to wins like the best wins in Vikings history I'm like uh, Thanksgiving against Dallas in 2000 in 1998 uh, like I, I have a hard time coming up but the losses there been plenty of those hey what's with this guy This was so cool. I remember coming across this for the first time as a kid. I loved this. I love the look of the end of time. I love the, the sparse music. I love the lamppost. And like... <laughs> it's pretty bleak here, but don't worry. Oh jeez, don't make me make that decision already. Um, sorry, Robo. So yeah, now things really get opened up because now we've unlocked a series of gates. It's locked shut, we can't uh, do that yet. Like, <laughs> hey, hey, that is Lavos, of course. Nothing down here yet. That becomes important later. HP MP restored. So, I think I'm gonna wrap this up here for now. Um, I don't have my timer, so I'm, I'm assuming this is a long time. <laughs> so, I'm just gonna call this part three. Um, so. Thanks for watching and have a good rest of your day. Cheers.